Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Um, today, we, Rip and I, are going to build a whelping box. My nephew's little pup, my sister, um, told me today that um, their dog is going to have puppies this week. And I asked her if she had a whelping box, and she said no. So we're gonna run to town and get a two by eight, and build and a, two, a couple of two by fours, and build her a whelping box. So Rip and I are on the way to town. We'll also check in with the puppies and the goats. Uh, anyway, come along. Okay, we just got back from town. I uh, ended up picking up a two by ten instead of a two by eight. Just decided to go a little bit bigger. With mine, I think it's sixteen. 14 or 16 inches high, but Molly, my nephew's dog, is just one of these little um, lap dogs. Um, so she's not going to need as big one. Anyway, let's get set up and get to building. Okay, first thing we're going to do is make our sides. Um, each side is going to be 3 foot, so I'm about 12 foot board. Let's make our marks. So, I knew this when I bought them when I picked the board up, but the board wasn't perfectly, uh, there wasn't a good board, it had some waves in it, but it worked good. So, now we'll build a shelf with the two before, at about, uh, oh, for that dog, probably three, maybe, probably, probably three inches off. The, um, the floor just so that the dog has something to lay against. I'm going to see if I've got an old piece of carpet or something like that because um, this will be inside my sister's house and um, so just to keep it off the off the good carpet and off the um, off her good floors we'll lay a piece of old carpet down in the box or under the box so that when she has her pups, you know, the blood and the mess and whatnot. But also that way, as the pups are growing, mom will, should, I should say should, not will, but she should clean up the box so she'll um, lick up all their, their poop and whatnot. Um, is what it is. When I told my sister that, she was a little bit uh, maybe disturbed by it, but that's nature. That's what they do to keep their the area clean for the pups. Um, so 
with that being said, obviously she goes to the bathroom outside, but the pups will still go to the bathroom on that carpet. So uh, before mom cleans cleans them cleans them up. So anyway, but uh, let's get to cutting the board, the two by four for the uh, for the shelf. So that obviously since we to go on the inside. The box end to end is three feet, outside to outside is three feet uh, one, one and a half inch. Inside is 34 inches, 34 and three quarter inches. That should be the same all the way around. But when we put the shelf in, I'll do two of them at 34 and three quarter, and then I'll get my measurements for. My dad has a sign that my sister-in-law made for him. It says, you've heard the old saying, uh, measure twice, cut once. He has a, a deal that my sister-in-law made for him that says, measure once, cut twice. And uh, clearly, I am my father's son. Still debating on how high I want those. Because like I said, I just don't know that dog. She's about the size of what, I think what Rip <laughs> is right now. So, I mean, she is a smaller dog. So that if she's leaning against it, that's at three inches. So if she's leaning against it, and the pup's behind her, that pup isn't being squished. I think that's probably plenty. She's she's not a super small dog. She's not like a chihuahua. She's a schnauzer, I believe. Anyway, I think that'll work.
problem should be filled at Okay, two more cuts. We'll get a new battery for the for the nut driver. And we'll be about there. like to do with these whelping boxes. So with these shelves, you know, if somebody just put their foot on this and stand on this right here, it's gonna it's gonna bend and break. So there's only three screws holding out the out or the, the holding up the uh, holding it to it. So I'm gonna cut some little blocks to put right underneath here um, of each one of them just to give it to some, some support because uh, like I said it's I, I guess it's not probably not necessary. It's not due to the dogs. It's for people problems. I think those are most of the problems. Is like I said, somebody just um, would come up, maybe looking at them, put their foot on it, maybe stand on it, just not realizing that they might not be as stable. So I'm just going to stabilize it up, uh, which will help it out significantly. See, well, I don't know if you can see, but there's probably an inch there that I'm leaving it back. Um, but again, it doesn't really matter. As long as this wood doesn't split. It could be good, I guess. Hey, 
here to help. What I might do, I only got seven blocks. I might just put them on these joints. It'll be four, and I got a couple extra. probably accomplish everything I want but I got some extra ball blocks so I might as well just throw them in. I got three extra so one side just won't have a center block but it shouldn't matter like I said I think what I've already done will accomplish what I want. As you can see here, so this is obviously the bottom of the of the box. Um, so there's not enough room for a pup to get trapped under there, and there's plenty of lip here. So if that that uh, female dog is laying against this, there's still two or three inches there for the pup to be able to survive if it accidentally gets laid on by mama. So. I think, let's go in the pole barn here. I think I've got some carpet in here that I can use. Oh yeah, I've got plenty of rolls of carpet here. So I'm gonna cut a piece of carpet and then we'll take it over to my sister's house. Okay. I think my blade on my Leatherman's plenty sharp enough, so let's see. It's easier to cut these from the back. I'm not going to be too particular on size as long as it's bigger than the boxes. make a delivery. I think she's just nervous because she's never had a dog that's had pups before. So she was asking me about you know supplement and stuff like that. I told her I don't know if it's absolutely necessary but I like doing it just because 
that way. It helps the females uh, recover and hold her weight more than anything. I don't know if it actually helps milk production or anything like that. But man, it sure helps those females. Um, the goats want to say hi real quick. Say hi to the goats and we'll say hi to the the pups, Koto's pups, and then we'll go make the delivery. So, this is Blah, and this is Blah. They go by Blah Blah. See, they're calling each other's names. They're still staying with Rip in the, his little enclosure here, in his little kennel. They do great. They're, uh, Rip's a lot better with them than I thought he would be, which is great. Uh, he cuddles up to him every night. They fall asleep under the heat lamp, so it's good. Let's check on Coda and her pups. Hey girl. So yesterday I took out the, well, I didn't take out the welcome box. I took, I stood her welcome box up right here and tied it up so that it can't fall on the pups just to give more room because as you can see hey guys they're up crawling eyes are open a lot of times they bark and growl at me or growl rather than bark hey guys how you doing huh how you doing oh all ten they're doing awesome they're starting to walk around rather than drag their bellies Still have to figure out which one I'm going to keep. I'm keeping a female. I'm kind of, let's see, is this her? Right here. Come here. Yep, I think that's her. This is kind of the one I'm, I just like the looks of her. She's usually, usually pretty alert when I come in. Um, she's not the biggest, but that's okay. I'm not after necessarily a big honking female. I just want an active one that uh, has confidence and shows some aggression and and she's been one of them. I think this, is this the other one? Yep, I think that's the other one. I think that's the other one I, I've got my eye on. They're going to change so much in the next three weeks. Um, so I, I'm not um, overly excited about one or the other or, or any of them really just because they're they're still so young. Um, they're, they've got a lot of developing that they're going to do here in the next couple weeks. See, that's this one. Oh, I know. Anyway, they're doing awesome. So, they're starting to lighten up in color. Like this one was pretty dark um, initially. Uh, there's a couple that are still pretty dark. Like he's pretty dark. I think he's the biggest male. He's a tank. Um, but they're, they're holding on to their dark guard hairs, but they'll lighten up a lot. But, hey. Anyway, they're doing good. So, let's go make a delivery to my sister. And, uh, continue with the day. Dakota! Hey, kennel, let's go! Dakota! She's my best dog. But when I let her out of the kennel, she goes and hunts. She just tries to find whatever. I got a I bought a uh, invisible fence that I'm going to put in hopefully this week and that'll help greatly. Rip came in and said hi to the pups. Right. Anyway, I'm going to find Coda and then uh, get it done. Well, we've delivered the box. She was very grateful. Um, I think it's I maybe built a little bit too big for the dog. Um, not height-wise with that rail or anything, but it might be a little bit big, but I, it's still going to work pretty good. Um, so now, I'm just going to walk out, check the calves real quick, the cows, and see how they're doing. I need to feed them yet tonight. I'll do that here in an hour or two. We have 12 calves on the ground. Everything's looking good. Uh, 
I'm just waiting on three more cows that should calve here pretty soon. That'll end my first round of calving. And then uh, here in another two months, uh, my second round of calves will, will start. Let's take a look real quick. That's that number 11, that gray calf back there. He was a big old boy. He's doing great. The last calf that was just born was to number 9 right there. That calf that right needs about three days ago. He was born. So I am at um, eight bull calves and I'm at eight bull calves and four heifer calves, which is awesome. Bull calves are always worth more. Um, probably on average about a hundred dollars a head more uh, when you take them to the cell yard. Uh, for at least my calves, that's kind of been been the way it's been. Is heifers are hundred less than uh, steer calves. Anyway, everything's doing good. Um, glad spring's coming, anyway. It was nice, and then it cooled off for the last couple of days. Possibility of snow on Wednesday, it sounds like, but uh, spring's right around the corner. And fun time of year. Thanks for joining us on the channel. And Rip and I will talk to you later. Have, have a good one. Like and subscribe doesn't cost you anything you could even turn on the notification bells honestly I never turn on notification bells when I subscribe to somebody but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do it to me so anyway have a good one